Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we're gonna be trying Danger Jones' new color remover. I've seen several of you guys tag me in comments and tag me in videos saying, can you try this, can you try this? And yes, I've actually had it purchased since the second I knew it existed. So Danger Jones released a new color remover. Now Danger Jones is a professional product. You need your cosmetology license to purchase it. Sometimes you can find it on Amazon. So if I can find this on Amazon, I will leave it linked in the description down below for you guys. So let me just tell you a little bit about it. Danger Jones, the owners of Danger Jones, are the same people who created Pulp Riot. So Pulp Riot is like one of the leading and best like vivid hair colors in the industry. It's also a professional brand. They sold Pulp Riot to L'Oreal and then they went off and created Danger Jones. So Danger Jones is very, very similar to Pulp Riot in many different ways. I've tried Pulp Riot, I've tried Danger Jones. The formulation is nearly identical. The shades are very, very similar similar. So Danger Jones just came out with a lightener and I just tried that and I absolutely loved it. It's probably like my favorite lightener I've tried. Um, I absolutely love it. I'll leave a link to that video up here in case you missed it. And then they released a color remover too. So Pulp Riot also has a color remover. It's called Blank Canvas and it works amazing. I've used blank canvas in the past and it does a phenomenal job while maintaining the integrity of the hair. It's more of a gentle color remover and it does a great job, especially if you use blank canvas and you're trying to remove pulp riot shades, it does an amazing job. So I am going to try Danger Jones color remover and we're gonna see if this is close to blank canvas, if it's the same thing, because when I tested Danger Jones compared to Pulp Riot, the colors are pretty much the same. The only difference I really saw was the smell. The smell is different between the two, um, but other than that, they are very much the same thing. So let's go ahead and try this. This is vegan, gluten-free, no animal testing, free from parabens, sulfates, and preservatives. Let's go ahead and read a little bit about it. It says Danger Jones Color Remover gently removes semi-permanent and direct dye colors without damaging or compromising hair. Aloe vera, argon oils, hoba oils, sorbitol all help nourish hair during the color removal process. Directions, in a non-metallic bowl, mix ratio one to three, so one part powder, three parts developer, using Danger Jones Premium Developer in five volume or 10 volume. Only paint on areas with semi-permanent color, avoiding natural hair color. Process up to 30 minutes without heat, checking every five minutes until desired results are achieved. Fully rinse and shampoo out of hair. So pretty simple, a very, very standard color remover. I have this swatch here with super, super, super vivid neon colors. So we're gonna try and remove all of these out of the hair swatch. These are like the most incredible, gorgeous, neon vibrant UV colors ever. I love it so much, but we're gonna try and remove it today. Um, let me go ahead and mix this up one to three ratio, one ratio powder, three ratios, 10 volume, and we will start applying. I am gonna be using 10 volume because I don't have any five volume. So we're gonna be using 10 volume. I also think it'll give it a better chance of fully removing the colors going with 10 volume instead of five. So let's go ahead and mix this up and start applying. All right, I have everything mixed up here in a one to three ratio. It does smell really strong like bleach, so hopefully it's gentle on the hair. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go in with the color remover. We're gonna apply it all over the hair strand, making sure to fully, fully saturate. Hopefully this comes out of the hair. I am Really hopeful that this is gonna be like a Pulp Riot Blank Canvas dupe. I do wish this was more accessible for people, but I will see if it's on Amazon, like I said. Hopefully it's on Amazon, cause some like professional hair care lines do wind up selling on Amazon. So hopefully it's on there. I'm gonna keep saturating this and separate the hair and I'll be right back to see if we can see anything lift. Cause normally within the first like two minutes, you'll start seeing the color remove. So let me saturate this really well and I'll be right back and let's see if anything happens. I think it's already looking more pastel than it did like two seconds ago. Um, Yeah, I was getting ready to put down my brush and the orange is like gone. Oh my gosh, give me one second, I gotta saturate. You guys, it's been literally less than a minute since I put this on the hair and like most of the colors are gone. We see blue and we see yellow, but everything else has disappeared. Are you kidding me? You guys, look at this. 
<laughs> Literally, it has been, I've been recording on my phone for two minutes and 19 seconds. That's how long this has been on there for. Two minutes. And this is what it did. Are you kidding? I'm gonna let this process for 30 minutes at room temperature, and we're gonna see if it can kick this yellow and kick the blue out of the hair. Cause if it can, I'm gonna be shocked. I mean, the pink, purple, and orange is already gone. So let's see if it can get rid of the most stubborn colors, which is yellow, green, and blue. So I'll be right back in 30 minutes, and we're gonna see if this comes out of the hair. I feel like I don't get like totally blown away and shocked very often anymore, but let me show you this. I mean, this is probably top two hair color removers I have ever tried. Look at this. You guys, I left this on for 25 minutes at room temperature. Look at how thick the hair still is. Super thick, super shiny. None of the hair fell out when I washed this off. There is a little tiny, tiny bit of blue and green left in some spots, but that could be from me not applying it evenly, or maybe if I just left it on a little bit longer, it would have fully removed the rest of the pigment. But look at this. Are you kidding me? It removed every single color. This was neon, you guys. This was so freaking neon. Let me show you what it looked like before. Here are the two swatches side by side. This is after 30 minutes. The hair honestly looks healthier after than it did before. Like that's insane. I would say this and Schwarzkopf Color Remover are my top two favorite hair color removers I have ever tried. The Schwarzkopf Color Remover and the Danger Jones Color Remover do such a good job at removing the color while maintaining the integrity of the hair. This feels so soft. I didn't use any conditioner. I literally just shampooed this off and the hair feels incredibly soft. You can definitely feel all the oils they added into the color remover. In the future, when I wanna remove semi-permanent color, I'm definitely gonna reach for this in Schwarzkopf. I'm probably not gonna use L'Oreal Ephesol anymore because I feel like this just does a better job. And also the most important thing is it still makes your hair feel good. And this hair, like I said, feels better now than it did before. And it's kind of crazy because the Danger Jones Color Remover is a bleach-based color remover. So you would think it would damage the hair or make it feel dry or break it off, but it does not at all. Like literally when I washed this, not a single strand broke off. Like this is absolutely insane. Hopefully I can find this on Amazon and it's available for the general public and it's not just available through hairstylists um, because this is pretty freaking amazing. I will say, if this is not available on Amazon, I will link the Schwarzkopf color remover down below because I know for a fact they sell that on Amazon and you can get a big pack and it's pretty affordable. So I will link this and the Schwarzkopf color remover down below. If you're trying to remove stubborn, semi-permanent or direct dyes, definitely check out this and Schwarzkopf. For everybody who wanted me to try it, there you go. I hope it helped you in some way. I definitely give this a 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend you guys try it. I would even use this on myself if my hair was compromised. Like that's how comfortable I feel using it. Even though it is bleach based, I feel comfortable enough and confident enough that this would maintain the integrity of my hair even with my hair being compromised. I would still put this on my hair. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and Facebook. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys on December 1st for Vlogmas. Bye. I mean